Most viewers are familiar with the bells and red kettles during the holiday season, but the fundraising by the Salvation Army is meant for everything from cold weather emergencies to year-round programming. To talk about this year's campaign is our guest from the Salvation Army in Massachusetts, the Corps officer from the South End Corps Community Center, Captain Myron Smith. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, it's Captain. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. First of all, t talk about uh, the center in the South End and what you're doing there. Well, we are, we're a center that is community driven. We respond to the needs of the community, whether that is uh, for seniors and fellowship and whether it's with high school, middle school students with after school programs and activities, we want to be responsive to the needs of the community. And that's what we do. And of course, part of what you uh, do every year is that you know, when, when the holidays come up, uh, there are people who, you know, yes, they have a hard time putting food on the table. You want to help them too. Absolutely. Um, People's attention are drawn to those who live in the shadows, as I like to say, this time of year. But really, throughout the whole year, people are in need in our communities. Uh, where I'm at in the South End, 1500 Washington Street, there are people in need there as well. But the Red Kettle is pretty special because it gives us the opportunity to, to be out with the people. Um, throughout the year, we write letters, and amazingly, people respond with checks or donations. But... What's special about the Red Kettle campaign is that we're out with the people to hear their stories and to uh, hear from them why giving to the Salvation Army is important to them and their families. Over the years, have you, have you heard any stories like this yourself? It's amazing. Uh, I've been doing this for 10 years, and um, some stories that stick out to me are, are the mom and dad, or if it's just a mom with their children, and they're at the grocery store, and they're rushing out, the mom's rushing out, but the kid sees or hears the bell and looks up at the mom and says, what is that? And then she stops. Sometimes, you know, moms have an agenda and they want to go get going. But she explains, well, the red kettle helps people in need. And the child will, will often say, well, can I help? So those things are, are important to us because from a very young age to, you know, some, some of us who are older, um, it, it starts that tradition of giving, which has been happening here in Boston with the red kettle. I like to call it the Red Bucket Challenge uh, for over 117 years. Well, what about the goal for this year, at least in Massachusetts? This year, our goal, it's ambitious because uh, the needs ha have increased and we want to help uh, everyone. We don't want to turn anyone away, whether it was just with Thanksgiving or whether it's with Christmas assistance. Uh, so our goal this year is going to be close to three, three and a half million dollars. So uh, when you say the need has increased, what tells you that? Well, with the, the people that we generally serve, those people who are the working poor, um, our economy is, is doing well, but those people still are struggling to, uh, to pay their rent. They're still struggling when, when the heat costs go up. So we're there for them when they come and they say, well, my budget is tight and I need an extra $400, and we're there to help them. And that's what the money from the Red Kettle uh, campaign goes to. Here's one example of uh, year-round programming in Boston, a, a very big example, mm -hmm. is in Dorchester where you have a community center, the Croc Center that the Salvation Army built in Dorchester, and you've got all kinds of things going on there. Absolutely. Uh, recently, uh, uh, the mayor said of the, uh, of the Croc Center, Salvation Army Croc Center in Dudley, it's an oasis in the city. It's a beautiful place where people come uh, to get a little uh, respite from the noisiness of, of the city or the, the chaos sometimes that we experience here in the city. And they, there are pools there, recreation equipment, activities for seniors, young adults, college students. So yes, that, that's really important to us to uh, have those type of centers throughout the, the city to, to help and, and to provide a place for, um, for refuge for people. Of course, the, the other thing that, that the Salvation Army has long been associated with is helping people struggling with substance abuse too. Yes, and that's something that we're always uh, committed to, and it's part of our mission, is to help those in need, um, especially those who struggle with substance abuse. And this time of year, um, when you give not only uh, monetarily, but when you give uh, a coat, when you give uh, a sweater or, or a scarf, that's going to um, go to help our um, thrift stores. And the people who work in our thrift stores are people who are in recovery. So it's important for them, not only in their recovery, 
but in getting them back, um, you know, economically um, with jobs and, and with accountability and those things. So those are important to us as well, our ARCs. It's interesting in these services where you're talking about the people getting jobs in the stores or the different age groups mingling at the Croc Center. A lot of this is about getting people back into contact with each other. Yeah, and oftentimes, uh, whether it's poverty, whether it's substance abuse, it tends to uh, separate us from the community. And we want to integrate people into the community. We want to really bring them and, and, and give them a way of entry back into the community, back into, into, into life, because those things tend to separate them and, and, and cause them to live in the shadows or be in the shadows. So that's exactly what we do in our community centers. I know you, you've given our viewers some things to think about when they hear the bell and see the red kettle, but if they do want some more information, I know you've got something online so they can check that out. Absolutely. Um, there are two, two websites that I'll give you. Um, one is uh, christmascastle.org. It's a huge distribution we do for the residents of Boston and the area to give them coats and, and food. So look at christmascastle.org and salvationarmymass.org um, to be able to give or find out how you can get out to a red kettle. I mean, it's a great family experience to come out for an hour or two and to ring the bell at your local um, star market or stop and shop or Whole Foods come on out and do that as well. And that's just as much giving as putting in change or a dollar. Thank you very much for being with us. It's a pleasure, thank you. From the Salvation Army, Captain Myron Smith. Up ahead, a response to the city's plan for climate change.